Hey guys, it's Shannon from Get Fed. So pleased to be with you. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I'm just going to break off into prayer before I get into the messages for today. I think I'm going to try and do two in one video. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all your blessings, your mercy, your grace. Lord, we ask that you continue to keep us intact with your will. We ask that we ask for the flourishing and for the uh the coming together of knowledge on our kingdom spouses, how to go about situations, what to do in situations, um, how to um, meet kingdom spouses, all of our answers about kingdom spouse. We hope in effort that, uh, in effort to, in to getting to you that we, um, we, you will reveal more to us on that Lord. Um, father, we're asking for you to, um, take away any spirits of doubt, fear, loathing, uh, self-hatred, self-loathing. Um, uh, hold on. I'm having a vision. Um, wow, gosh, um, I, um, mm, okay, Lord, we thank you for all of, uh, that and your vision. Um, thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. I cannot, uh, say I've been instructed by, I mean, I've just been instructed not to say any more of my visions because of monitoring spirits and things like that. Um, but, uh, I will, uh, not at this time later, I will probably, because they're also very helpful when I have to go back to my next assignment and then I have to know what things are. So, but anyway, yes, I want to talk to you guys about waiting. So you guys want to know the big answer. What? When am I going to get my kingdom spouse? When are they coming? How am I going to get them? Where, what's going on? Didn't I fast? Didn't I pray? You're going to get them. Just stop tripping. Wait. All right, yo. So um, if you guys have been paying attention here, uh, or I'm just going to say it again. It's that, uh, what did King Solomon say? There's a time for everything, right? There's a time for everything. So, um, what I have, uh, what I've been noticing or whatever is that, um, kingdom spouses, you know, God's not going to give us anything that we're not ready for. So the first thing we have to do with God is to ask him, is there anything, Lord, Father, is there anything that we need to absolve ourselves from? I mean, well, anything that he needs to cleanse us of? Is there anything gossiping? Is there anything, um, pride? Is there anything that I need to do, Father? And then once you've done that, and once you've planted those seeds and, um, uh, you pray to the Lord and you tell him what you want. You know, I want this kind of guy, this kind of guy. And then the Lord should respond with, well, um, he'll respond letting you know the characteristics that you have chosen aside from the whole, oh my God, I got to be super fine and have a full 1K and all that extra stuff. Uh, the Lord, you know, he, he knows that those things are important, but he's going to stick to the importance um, of the list you gave him of the things you're decreeing he's going to stick to the importance of which is the man loves God which is the man loves you and which is um, the man is a uh, the man or a woman is best fitted for you so yeah um, yeah so anyway there's uh, the Lord wants us to plant seeds first okay so we're going to plant the seeds of um of praying about it, interceding on our behalf, on our kingdom spouse's behalf, right? And then we're gonna, um, let me see. <laughs> then um, we're gonna, um, let me see. We're gonna take that and we're going to, oh my God, I just had my words right there. But anyway, you have to, it's a process though. It's a waiting process. It's planting the seeds, waiting. Then it's the preparation. And then it's the actual um, result of what you've been praying for coming into fruition. So it's like, a, it's a process, but um, you have to, uh, 
you know you have to work it so we know that there are different seasons are I, I can't stress it enough and God can't stress it enough when people are coming to him asking for things and they haven't done what he's been asking them to do um, regarding sin regarding whatever which is normally sin which is what he's asking you to do whether or not it's be nice to a friend whether or not it's spend extra time with your kids if you're not you can't expect to get something out of God without giving a little bit of yourself and God only makes uh, ask you to do things that will strengthen you and that will grow you so that's all he's asking you when he's asking you to overcome certain things or do things or um, try to overcome things and things like that he's just telling you that okay I want you to grow in these specific areas and I want to give you this gift but I need you to grow so um, you know we don't want to be like uh, we don't want to be like Abraham and Sarah where we make our own provisions and we have an extra kid uh, out of wedlock with the handmaiden Hagar because just on GP you know just on general principles so we don't want to be doing that right because we don't want no extras we want the gift that God has for us because you could marry someone else you could circumnavigate God's system you could go around it blah 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 but you're not going to get the full the the full uh the full entirety of what God is trying to do with that spouse in your life says the Lord so it's um it all comes back down to uh that and so you just have to really know what kind of season you're in I know that I had been in a season for three years I'm still in a waiting season so I'm waiting on my kingdom spouse right now to kind of the the light bulb to kind of go off in his head if it's not already there I think it's already there but the the light bulb so it's um it's just a season of waiting and so yeah that's pretty much it but there's I just wanted to say that you guys think it's gonna be like a whole uh like a whole supernatural kind of thing or something it's not gonna be like a whole supernatural kind of um Thing. it's not gonna be like totally I mean it will parts of it like you guys will be hearing the songs and stuff uh, that you listen to or sharing some of the same thoughts or you'll even be doing some of the same gestures I noticed when I was with my kingdom spouse that I was doing some of the same gestures he was doing and I was like wow okay and so the Lord was telling me okay you guys are gonna be doing that because um, not only like that it's like in science and stuff that's one of the things that you um, know that you like someone is because you're that you imitate you emulate them or you um you do the same gestures and stuff so um yeah but those are just fun facts so we just really want to um know what season we're in if we're in a season of planting where we don't know who our kingdom spouse is which would could take a little longer than as if you you already knew who they were then when you know who they are, are you want to assess the situation you want to go to God and say hey God God, is this the contender you put in front of me is this the person you're putting in front of me and the Lord will give you a yes no or wait until later answer he always does in the Bible's either yes or no um, or um, you know and so uh, or later so yeah that's pretty much it though you just have to know what seasons you're in because God it's like a plant God is planting you God is building you and so when God is planting you and building you um, it, it's gonna come to flourishion hold on riding kids to go all the candy I'm sorry hold on I had to take it from my kids but anyway yeah those are the seasons to which uh, God I mean which you're in and so you just have to like what you can do in your waitingness not to go crazy is to ask God what kind of service can you do for him find out the ways that God speaks to you and ask him what can I do for you Lord can I build a blog can I um, all of this is not just for profits uh, social media platforms find something to make yourself better get time to know yourself and who you are and within doing so you're gonna get to know God you know get to know your yourself and what you like to do and who you are because you can't just be like um 
you can't be all enthralled with your partner. You're still going to have to remain your own identity because that's what God is asking a lot of you to do is to remain your identity. You guys think that it's all going to be sugar plum fairies and things when you get married, but I have been married. It's not all sugar plum fairies all the time. It's work and and that's the true equate the um I'm sorry. That's the true uh, equalization of love. Uh, the uh, the end result of love is your endurance, your love, your long suffering, your pain, and just everything. And then God wants you guys to um, uh, uh, be about your heart checks. Please check your heart. If you have a problem with stinginess, if you have a problem with uh, with the uh, gossiping, a lot of la 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 la. If you generally are having problems with saying um hey maybe that, did I do that wrong or God just wants us to be more aware and thoughtful of him and the way we treat others and the way we treat ourselves we all know that you know we don't want to overeat we don't want to um it's I know because I'm getting ready to go on a fast a real fast for a couple of days and things like that because usually I just fast once a week and stuff like that so I can confirm with the Lord what he's been telling me the whole week week and to draw clear closer to him so those are all good things um yeah but I think that's pretty much it I'm gonna do another message for widows in just a little while I'm sorry and if anybody's emailing me please give me 24 to 48 hours I need to pray over whatever it is you're asking me for advice I have to pray for pray over it and it takes a, it takes some time for me to get an answer because I'm not gonna tell you something that is flesh bound from me I want it to be from God you can also be in agreement with me and pray with me and um, I pray with you and we um, you know for revelation and things on the matter because um, I can't tell you how many times people are like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then, oh wow, I had a feeling God was saying that. And I'm gonna make some of y'all do some exercises too, because y'all can't, I mean, y'all can call me. I, it's free advice right now. It's all free advice, but, uh, you, uh, you know, you guys gotta have to hear the voice of God, you know, for yourselves. The prophets are good in some situations, but you know, just. You, you know, we got to hear the voice of God for ourselves every day. Okay? But I love you guys so much. If you haven't liked or subscribed, would you please consider so in joining the Get Fed family where we want more than manna. We want to get fed. So, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you to all my subscribers so much. You guys are really warming my heart. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for paying it for it and getting some exposure out there for God's word. And I'm um, exposing the enemy. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, bye.